circling around the planet at a 30 degree angle from the equator is what is called the great circle or great line of ancient sites that all share this interesting connection to one another wrapping around the planet. These sites, I would say, are significant structures. For example, the Great Pyramids in Egypt, the Great Angkor Wat temples of Cambodia, Easter Island or Rapa Nui in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, crossing South America through the Nazca Lines, the Great Walls of Ollante Tambo and Saxe Huaman. The line covers a whole bunch of who knows what into the Atlantic Ocean over to Africa. The reshot structure is close, but it is, it is not on the line. It continues across a whole lot of unexplored desert, and it gets to the Great Pyramids in Egypt, across the Middle East through India, till we get to the Great temples of Angkor Wat in Cambodia. Connect any two of these sites and draw the circle and you'll find all of them. There are at least 21 ancient sites that we know of on this line. Many of these places are unexplored, for example, through the Sahara Desert and most of the Amazon, not to mention the amount of ocean it covers. What I would call significant structures all share this remarkable connection to one another. Now, some might say, what's the big deal? There's just a bunch of structures that share this line and connection. Okay, so what? Just stick with me, you'll be fine. Now, Grant Granted, draw a line around the planet and you're bound to hit several McDonald's. These are what I would call sacred places that humanity has been coming back to over and over again, so who knows how long it's been a tradition to accumulate in these areas. The structures that currently sit on them are just the current cycle that made their mark in that area. I would also like to point out that the few walls that are still standing on Easter Island have a striking resemblance to the ones we find in South America. Also, writing was found on Easter Island that has yet to be translated, but it shares a remarkable remarkable resemblance to the script used by the people who built Mohenjo-Daro in the Indus Valley. And I would also say that these aren't just any old structures you can find just anywhere. But there is a very remarkable what they would call a coincidence encoded into the mathematics of this line. So to help illustrate this, I created this diagram. If we take the distances from the temples of Angkor Wat in Cambodia to the Great Pyramids of Giza and multiply it by the golden ratio 1.618, the sum of that equation gives us the distance from the pyramids of Giza to the Nazca Lines in South America. If we then take the distance from the pyramids to the Nazca Lines and multiply it by 1.618, we then find the distance from the Nazca Lines all the way around to Angkor Wat in Cambodia, all on this same line. The golden ratio, or the golden section, most known as the Fibonacci sequence, 1.618 or phi, is a very significant number. It is a universal constant. It's how nature creates spirals. And it's based off of this basic principle. One plus one equals two, one plus two equals three, two plus three equals five, three plus five equals eight, five plus eight equals 13, eight plus 13 equals 21, 13 plus 21 equals 34, and 21 plus 34 equals 55, and so on. You can just keep adding the numbers. The spiral of sunflowers and pine cones is the golden ratio. Seashells, even up to the arms of galaxies, the golden ratio is found throughout the universe. It's just a never-ending spiral of beauty. And we find the golden ratio show up many times throughout the ancient world, encoded into the mathematics of their structures. Now, what are the chances that the people we associate with building these monuments, who were separated by vast distances and oceans, and also time, accidentally just so happened to build the greatest monuments this planet has ever seen all in the same line spaced apart using the mathematics of the golden ratio. I just have a really hard time believing that that's just one big old accident. What I believe this to be evidence for is that the ancient world was far more connected than we give them credit for. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Phantom Universe. You can also help support me by becoming a Patreon. Links in the description down below. You can also help support me by purchasing a Phantom Universe t-shirt at my bonfire.com website where you'll find a bunch of graphics that I created including the great circle design you see in this video. I appreciate your guys' support and I'll see you all next time. Later.